social distancing is one of the important measures we've been using. So the original idea actually came from flu pandemic planning uh, back um, uh, probably in the early 2000s. And it was practiced before, but in a less formal way. So the idea is really um, that if this virus largely spreads by the respiratory route, mostly by the respiratory route, essentially like flu, then if we keep people to themselves, they stay far enough apart that they can't be exposed to droplets coming from people's coughs or sneezes, or perhaps excited talking, if they are able to stay home and avoid contact with, uh, with others, to some degree at least, we would be cutting down the opportunity for this virus to transmit itself. And so hopefully that would really prevent a lot of the cases that would occur if people were otherwise in close contact and could more easily infect each other through the respiratory route and through some secondary routes, such as um, touching an infected surface and then touching your face. We can't eliminate the risk completely. Anytime we come in contact with other people, we don't know if they could possibly be infected. So we can take precautions to reduce that risk by um, using social distancing, staying uh, six feet away, for example, from other people whenever possible. I know that sounds terribly antisocial, but it's for our own good and we should all be doing that. And obviously stay home when you're sick and, and try to be very cautious. So the, there's always some risk when we're going out, but we can reduce that as much as possible by taking these precautions.